So we got her two wheels leading the pack. Um, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because the last time she led us on a ride, all right, so slight little hiccup, but we ended up in a, a dry lake. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Look at this, this is beautiful. Nice windy road opening up to this. another video i know this doesn't look like the, the the weekly scenery but we're down here in beautiful daytona enjoying uh the daytona bike week over here located at the harley davidson station and as you can see behind me we got all the brand new bikes all lined up everywhere and um gotta show you guys what they uh what are they what they're lending me i, I had a i had to take one for the team well, uh, you took one for the team. Uh, I took one for the team, man. I'm, what? How so? I'm, I'm gonna take the CVOS. Oh here. man, I'm sorry. That's the no. last bike that we had. But the only resort you. I have. I, you know, I was really hoping that you would be okay with it. <laughs> and yeah, so these guys I'm are gonna awesome. I'm gonna make it up to you. These guys are awesome. I mean, they, they, they sent me a text. Like, Listen, uh, we had you in a regular road glide, but would you be okay taking a CVOS? I'm like, I guess, I, I guess we could do that. <laughs> yeah. James Paul, everybody. <laughs> this guy right here is the man. Right over here. What's up? What's going Boom. Man? Super what? happy, man. Super happy to be out here. What um, what what, what are you riding on later on today? Uh, I'm right now. I'm on the legendary orange CVO Road Glide. Oh, sweet. Which is uh, I saw a picture really you posted nice. up earlier. That was that was sick. I, I was telling those guys the. Uh, Rolled past the beach. Beach was open at uh, 6:45 this a.m. Uh, th no this morning, traffic. so no traffic. So I don't know that the CVO is meant to go on the beach, but it did this morning. <laughs> it did it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna keep enjoying the weather. I gotta go meet up with uh, with Justin Hertz Wheels right now, and then we're gonna be taking a ride around Daytona and see what Daytona has to offer for us. They gave me the keys to this bike, and we're gonna go explore Daytona now. So we're gonna take a little ride over to the uh, beachside area and meet up with her two wheels and Jordan. We're gonna get uh, get some lunch and then we're gonna go for a nice ride. We're gonna explore Daytona, man. First time out here in Daytona, so far it's beautiful. I mean, <laughs> the weather, the weather. I'm coming from Jersey where it's like 30, 40 degrees right now. Nothing but rain. So yeah, I'm uh, more than happy to be out here. <laughs> Can't believe I'm on this bike right now too, man. I was okay with the road glide, just a regular road glide, but this, come on, man, come on. All right. This is awesome. Florida riding, warm weather. Love it! Gotta say, this is my first time ever riding in Florida. Well, I I've ridden scooters in Miami, but that's different. But actual riding like this, first time ever in Florida. And I get to do it on this beast of a bike. Daytona Beach. smooth ride so far i absolutely love riding this new road glide man if you guys haven't thrown a leg over this bike yet i don't know what you're waiting for i mean with all the rallies coming up right now i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be able to go uh take a demo out take it for a test ride um trust me you're you're gonna love it and even if it's not you know the the, the cbo even if it's just a regular road glide you're gonna love it man huge huge difference from the Agua model ton of power comfort more tech new design you got it all baby i think you hardly knocked it out the park with this one for show
So we made it to the ocean deck. Met up with my bud. Her two wheels. We got Jordan in the background right there. Um, guys, we're, we're, this is my first time having some fish tacos. I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna have lunch. We're literally on the beach. And after this, we're gonna be going for a nice ride. Where are we going? To the, uh... I think we're gonna go do the Ormond Beach Loop. So Ormond Beach Loop. Check it out. It's a beautiful day. It's a Tuesday. Not very busy. It's not. I mean, we got some warm weather, so it's a plus. So it's uh, not too bad for a Tuesday. First time trying fish tacos. Oh, dude. That's awesome. They got like mango salsa mm. and like a, a sour cream. I love it. It was super nice here having these fish tacos on the beach. So somebody showed up. <laughs> hey guys, where you guys coming from? The cracked egg? Breakfast? I think. From last night. This guy had a wild night last night. This guy just finished riding in from Jersey. 16 hours? 16 and a half. 16 and a half hours. Straight out. Straight out to the nightlife. Wow. I don't know what. Enjoy your uh, low rider S, right? Nice. Right, so we got Peanuts bike right here. We got Bachi's low rider S in the back. Ooh. Nice and clean, man. Wait, 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 on. Oh. Ah, the oh, purple. We got the purple in there now. Nice. Oh, you got the carbon uh, plate? Yep. That's sick. I didn't even know. I didn't see you had this before. Ocean deck, dope spot. So if you are coming to the area, food's great. Um, if you want to get drinks or whatever, and um, there's parking for bikes on oh, the front right here. Well, that's a plus. <clears throat> All right, so we got her two wheels right here on the brand new Rogue Glide standard. And we got Jordan in the back on his Dyna. I'm on the CVO Rogue Glide ST. And we got Peanut and Pachi straight out of Jersey, baby. <laughs> Daytona riding. Daytona living for today. Yo, that, that would have been a dope picture right here. Yo, it is so nice to be riding in nice warm weather. I love this. What's this right here, Main Street? Oh, this is the famous Main Street. So all the craziness goes down. All the fun times. That's dope. You gotta love Florida, man. The most tropical Caribbean place in the United States, man. So dope. Bunch of restaurants, bunch of bars around here. This is dope, man. Daytona. I love it over here. I wasn't expecting rain, but we got a few little drops coming down right now. You know what? If it pours, it pours, and I'm cool with it. I'm fine, man. I always say it. If I go out to ride and it rains, I'm fine with that. What I'm not going to do is go out when I know it's going to rain. But if I get caught in the rain, I get caught in the rain. Totally cool. So this should be a nice, scenic ride today. A uh, small portion of this ride will be like very scenic around, uh, around some lakes.
water on both sides love this type of view man love this type of view so we got her two wheels leading the pack um i don't know how this is going to turn out because the last time she led us on a ride to a destination to a body of water the lake was dried up <laughs> yeah so hopefully today that won't be the outcome i'm sure it won't be we got a nice little ride planned out i think it's awesome that her and jordan you know took the time to come down here they've been down here for a few weeks now and they've uh they took their camper down here they're living the florida life for a while getting away from that cold up north and they're out here riding couples that ride together stay together i mean my wife doesn't ride but we're still together <laughs> no but it's it's pretty awesome that they you know they get to experience this together and make memories together it's pretty cool some nice houses around here man these these houses remind me of the houses in in dr man like when i go back to my country and we go around to those areas where the big houses are at like this they look just like this look how beautiful this is right here man i love this we got trees just hanging over the road on both sides oh stuff like this i just love taking in you can't experience this the way we're experiencing it if you're not on a bike it's not the same thing if you're in a car man it's really not look at this this is beautiful nice windy road opening up to this body of waters on both sides what this is beautiful. Man, you, you really need to appreciate Mother Nature for, for what it is. So cool, man. So cool. Nice little chill ride like this is what I needed. Chill, sit back, relax. I like the contrast on the tour gloves, how they look on this CVO. The red and black and the white everywhere. Sick. This is a nice little ride, man. Super chill. You're just cruising, enjoying everything, taking everything in. If you guys are coming down here even if it's not bike week if you're just gonna come down here to ride come take this route post it up right here look at this it's awesome i came out here to really enjoy the ride and i just can't stop thinking about how much i'm liking the ride on the bike the bike itself Like, I really want this bike even more now. <laughs> I really do. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I posted up a video the other day talking about, uh, what video was it? Where we're talking about the front suspension that I just installed on my road glide back at home. First initial ride on it, and towards the end of the video, I'm talking about how I'm kind of thinking about selling my bike. Yeah, man, and now that I'm spending even more time on here and this one now on the new model, I'm like, it's it's so different. It's it's like day and night. Let, let's 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 keep riding. <laughs> let's keep riding and enjoying the ride.
right so slight little hiccup no she she didn't take us to a dried up lake this time <laughs> no uh they actually had the nicest part of the route closed off um yeah so we're not gonna do that we're just gonna backtrack right now turn around and then we're gonna head back to main street Now that you're on camera again. Hi, buddy. Hey, no, but hold on, because I remember the last time you took us on a ride, oh, yeah. you were going to take us to an amazing lake. I took you to the ocean. Where, where, where was it? Uh, well, where were we? Austin. In Austin, Texas, right? But we ended up in a, a dry lake. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're supposed to go on the scenic ride, and uh, we ended up on a closed road. Don't follow me. Hey, listen, it's always a good time no matter what. That's it. I didn't know it was closed. <laughs> I really didn't know. Nah, that, listen, yeah. That road over there is beautiful. It was nice. oh, I loved it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I love rides like that. And then I was like, I want to take you guys down Main Street, but it also didn't know that we couldn't turn left there. Yeah, yeah. Was a, was that was cool. Yeah. Alright, so we're back at the speedway now. This is where all the vendors are at. So this is a place you're gonna want to come if you wanna get some cool parts for your bike. I wasn't gonna come to a rally and not walk out of here, not even one little piece. So I got this Baja Design black cover for one of my LP6s in the front. Kinda wanna switch the look, it looks cool. Maybe I'll cover the white one, maybe I'll cover the yellow one, but this whole black thing right here just looks super cool. So it kinda look like a little, it'll look like a Cyclops, if that. Earlier, but what did you buy? What did you buy now? Nothing, why? Come on. I mean, at this point I have to now, right? We could be twinsies, man. Yeah. All right, so now that we're back, we just delivered the bike back. Um, we're back here at the Speedway. I really wanted to see this bike in person because I, I saw it in pictures and the video, fell in love with it. But even just looking at the details now, this Lone Rider ST is beautiful. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but right here in the tank, that's a record player. So that's the whole tobacco color thing, obviously, is supposed to be because of. Uh, you know, old school guitars and just the rock guitars and the colors that they have on them. Coming all together with Harley Davidson, it's just, it, it's it's awesome, man. Um, this, this, this bike, this bike is calling my name. That, that, that's what it's doing. What, what do you guys think? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below, but even all the details on it, just looking everything up in, in person, the pin strap, it looks really nice and clean. The way that yellow goes to brown and orangey color is it's amazing and then you're also gonna have this decal here in the front fender hd that's really nice so that's a nice little easter egg i didn't i didn't see that on the pictures and the bags look super sick they look really nice with, with that paint job on it i'm just here looking at this bike and i'm coming up with different ideas of what to do with it how you can transform it and the amount of things that you're still able to do to it even though it looks real special it's uh it's a lot Enthusiast collection, if you guys are interested in the Enthusiast collection, you got the Limited, and then you got the Tri-Glide right there in the back as well. Three different options. This guy loves a bike. I, I, I think he approves his little Rider ST as well. I do, I do. It's a great bike, man. And you got to, can't go wrong with the uh, Tobacco Fade. The tobacco Fade is fire, so different. All right, man, always a pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you for everything. This is... Daytona Bike Week, baby. So if you guys are not here yet, uh, this video will still be posted up throughout midweek. Uh, make it out here next year. And there's a ton of other events coming up this year, as well as homecoming in Milwaukee, right? Yes, sir. So last year we had homecoming for the first time, uh, the 20th anniversary, and this year they're gonna bring it back and it's gonna be super huge. So July, July? Yeah, is when it's July. happening? Last weekend in July. Last weekend of July. What, what, what's the event after that? Event Sturgis. Sturgis. Little event. Little event called Sturgis. A week right after that. So a lot of huge events, guys. Tune in. I'm gonna be posting up a lot of more information in the weeks and months to come. But uh, all I can say is that I'm in love with this Lowrider ST. And I want one. 